Henry hasn't stopped talking about visiting Maui Alpaca since we went up to upcountry Maui. Wow, he cried when we left because he <laughs> missed them. So sweet. We had the unique experience of visiting the alpaca farm in upcountry Maui on the slopes of Haleakala. We were so excited to be there with Janet, the owner of the alpaca farm, and we did the lunch experience. It was great. So the day started out with lunch. Oh, and before we get into all the specifics of the tour, I just want to mention that as we were leaving, Janet offered us a code to share with you for 10% off the Paniolo lunch picnic. So use code HVG10 and you'll get 10% off the Paniolo lunch when you book. And I believe you have to call the book, right? Yes, you do. Yep. You got to call Janet to make a reservation. Easy breezy though. And she's super nice. So we love going to Maui upcountry. It's a great way to spend the day up there. And it's nice to do this event because it's a lunch. So like you get lunch covered for you, right? Beautiful drive up there. She has eight acres on the slopes of Haleakala. And when you get there, you park and boom, the alpacas are right there. Yes, it was quite exciting. It was actually hard for Henry to sit down and eat lunch because he was so excited, but he did. He had a wonderful PB&J. It was a great spread. We had a nice veggie sandwich, plus some other snacks. So once you're done with lunch, oh, I should mention, this is a small group experience, so you're not there with like 50 other people. It's only 10 to 15. Janet keeps it really small and intimate, so the kids get a lot of time with the alpacas. And it's for kids, adults can go too, but boy, we had another family there with us, and all the kids were just so excited because you can feed the alpacas, you can pet them, you can, they lay down for pictures. It's, it's all the female alpacas are really nice. It's funny, they keep the males away because if you, the males are in the same cage, they'll like fight like giraffes. Ooh. So it'd be pretty interesting. Yeah. But some of the females were pregnant. So right now I think they got six of them or nine of them. I forget, but they have more coming, which is exciting. Even for Henry, who generally doesn't love feeding animals, he was so excited to feed the alpacas. So we spent, oh gosh, 30 minutes feeding them. We it spent was. a long time feeding and petting and just enjoying them. After that, we were able to move over to the bunny section <laughs> and play with these adorable, floppy, hairy little bunnies. That was so fun. I said, where is the, where is the bunny? And then I saw one hiding. And then we ended the day with the demonstration and they showed us how to take all the hair that the alpacas had just been trimmed and turn it into yarn. So that was really cool. It was really interesting to watch. Not sure if Henry totally understood what was happening, <laughs> but he thought it was cool watching how the machines worked. Exactly. You see them make the yarn and then they sell it in the store right there. Mm -hmm. So great gift store right there. All the stuff from the farm, plus some books and other cute little Maui gifts and souvenirs. The kids yeah. loved it. So once again, you can save 10% off with code HVG10 for the Alpaca Paniolo Picnic. Highly recommend it. Get up top country and explore Janet's farm. Thanks for watching. Thank you.